Hey guys and welcome back, Lucian here with you again like always doing another AE2 automation video but this time we're using Steve's factory manager. So I've been playing with this design for the last few days and uh, many of you guys know that I uh, travel a fair amount so what else to do while you're traveling and you're kind of on autopilot down the interstate but think about new and crazy ways to automate. So my usual disclaimer this is Direwolf 20 pack 103 on the modded Minecraft version 1.7.10. So let's jump right into it. So I've only set this up just a little bit because it's kind of in the early stages of refinement. So I just have a factory manager, strong box, two inscribers, and then I just have creative capacitor banks in the back to get the supply uh, to supply power to both inscribers. So let me show you a little bit of my coding. Now I was trying to make this as compact as I could. I actually did start it with just one inscriber, but I found that the timing between making the circuits and making the processors, the timing was hard to get it straight. And I am by no means an expert at uh, Steve's factory manager. I'm learning, but no means an excerpt, expert. So here's what we got. So let me jump back. Here's what my main screen, I've only set it up to make calculation um, processors at this point because I just wanted to kind of test out my theory to make sure it would work. So I just have two command groups right here uh, made like that just to create a command group. So this one actually right here is to make the calculation circuit. Alright, so before I show you that up in here we'll get rid of those so we can kind of have a good test. We'll actually clear out all this. This is just kind of where I was dumping all my crap. we will keep this down here so right now I just have all of the four different plates inscriber plates in here because eventually I'm going to put all the code in here to make all of them but I just tested it out with calculation at first so we have the calculation press right there on the end all right so let's go through the coding real quick we'll get into the calculation circuit let's go so got a the usual trigger to start off the whole uh, process and work. I actually have it set to three seconds. I'm see if I'm gonna put that down just a little bit, but found there's a little bit of timing issues you gotta deal with. Um, okay. So trigger and then we go into a condition. This condition right here is going to check the resonant strong box for a inscriber press and a pure service course. Then it requires all of those. So if it does have those both items in this resonant strong box then it, it will go down the true line. Now the true line, I have it just it's like splitting off. This input right here will grab the calculation press, put it in the inscriber, and this this uh, line right here will take the pure certus quartz and then put it in the inscriber. So let's watch that happen. So put a piece of pure in there, and you see it cycles, and then goes in there, gets cooked, and sits back to the resin strong box. Now I already got the both sides of it ready, but you can see the process work. Now, if we go down the false line, if it does not have the calculation press and the pure service quartz goes down the false line, and what the false line does, it imports everything back to the resin strong box. So that's kind of that's basically it's emptying the system out or emptying the scriber out for the next operation. Now, if I let me actually go back here, let me break this. Let me break that right there. And let's jump back into here, so we can see this work. So let's say I want to take not 26, not six. Let's do three, so we can see it work. So like that, it'll clear it put it back in there, cook again, and you can see they're all coming back into there. Well, I just took one out, but let's put the third one back in there. So, I need to do a little bit of tweaking of timing, but I can do that. Um, this is a work in progress. This is going to be a multi-part series, just like all the other ones are. And I'm going to get better and better at this, and it, hopefully we'll have something cool. Pure love. I didn't know that was in there. So that's kind of the stage one of the system. Now, and then I guess I can just continue this for logic and then engineering and silicon and everything like that. So that's how that line works. 
Now if we jump over here to actually make the processor, drop down. So this trigger right here splits it off. This is what takes the redstone and puts it in. The inscriber takes the silicon circuit or whatever it is and puts it in the processor or it puts it in the scriber. So this is the other half of the process. Trigger the condition, it checks to make sure that it has one of the well that's not supposed to be like that. Let's just misclicked. There we go. Listen engineering. So if it checks to see if it has and I got it set to if any set to any of those if it does it goes down the true line which takes us one from the resident strong box puts it in the top slot of the inscriber to be cooked and then if it does not have any more circuits in the resident strong box it goes down the false line which clears the inscriber and puts up everything back in the actual strong box itself so if you want to see a very full operations let's say we'll dump in three of those and you can see it does it pretty quickly and all both inscribers are fully overclocked with three acceleration cards that's well, not bad probably about well about 10 15 seconds or so, maybe less so I'm gonna continue to play with this system I like it it's cool it's fun it's different it's a little bit off label but I like it I want to continue to expand it so hopefully you like this part one of the automation with Steve's factory manager we're gonna kinda of continue it and see how crazy we can get maybe throw in a uh, Sirtis quartz charger or something I got some other cool ideas so tune in for that like always leave me some comments down below be sure to check out some of my other videos if you're new to my channel and I'll see you guys soon